Okay. So either this is something that is coming your way or has already happened and I'm simply here to confirm your reality. Love. You are coming into meeting with this forever person, whoever I'm talking to. Now, I am I feel like I'm talking to a woman and I'm going to describe how this woman looks, okay? I feel like something about you is statuesque, but I don't know if you're very curvy, okay? I do see like you likely have a full bosom though. That is standing out to me, but I don't think it's like over-exaggerated or you're necessarily in a low-cut top. I just see that you have full a bosom area. I also feel like um you might be um you might be fuller. I don't also don't want to use the term thick because I'm not sure that's what I see. I just see someone who is, you know, I would not consider them heavy and I would not consider them thin either. This is a full like a stocky woman. Um, meat on the bones, but maybe very solid. This person stands upright. I feel like they have a strong back, whoever I'm talking to, because they seem to stand very assuredly or proud or confident. Although I, I don't think that this is like purposeful or intended. I think this is just their natural way of carrying themselves. They may have medium brown hair um, and I meant medium length brown hair and something about it is curly or wavy. Maybe thick, deep waves or this is like natural hair that that's been, I don't know, a brushed out, I want to say. But anyway, um or something about this hair is big and full or fluffy or something, okay? Um, when you meet this person, this is going to happen in a public fairway. Now, I use the term fairway because this looks like a transportation system of some nature that a lot of people gather in. So it could be like... Um, you are catching a shuttle bus or a um, train. You could be at a um, dock to like catch a boat somewhere or a plane, uh, 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 an air, an airport. Um, this seems like a public fairway system. Like people are going in a lot of different directions to a lot of different places using the same system or mode of transportation. So this has something to do with people moving, traveling, going about their day, okay? I also feel like I am surrounded by a lot of business people. I see a lot of people who are, nobody here looks very casual. Although I see jeans, I still see a lot of like business casual look. I see a lot of business people. I wanted to make sure I'm not, no. Although somebody might be coming from or on their way to a conference when this meeting takes place because I, I did just find myself in like the, um, in like the lobby of a conference center or um, something like that. I'm like in a big open hallway where I, I believe maybe some sort of business conference is going on. So someone can be coming or going to that when this meeting takes place. This person sees one person is not paying attention. They're looking down at their telephone. This other person sees them from a distance. They watch them because this person who's on a telephone, I feel like they're walking and then they stop. They stand in place. They drop their head. They're on this phone. This, this other person stares at them from a distance, but they are in their direct eye, like their direct line of sight. They may stand off to, they're in front of this person at a far distance off to their right. For some reason, I see somebody is wearing a ring on the right hand. Um, okay. 
Somebody may also be in the color cream or white. Okay. This person notices another person, someone else here is in like, it's so interesting because I also see somebody in like all black. Okay. This person notices is this other person from a distance. They watch them, they pay attention to them. And then when the person on their cell phone kind of puts the phone down and begins to walk again, this other person watches their path with their eyes, like they follow them with their eyes. And when they come up to a distance where they would be across from each other versus like standing in front of each other at a distance when they're across from each other at a distance, this person makes like a straight line towards them and introduces themselves. It catches one person off guard. The person on the t cell phone, it catches them off guard. When they look up, they are a little stunned, but pleased, very pleased. Um, they find themselves appreciative of this energy immediately. They like that this person has approached them. Now, the person who's approaching beautiful smile. I'm scanning this person to see if they crazy. OK, they're not. But they may have recently gone through something. Um, they may have recently been divorced, separated. They recently went through something that is, you are the first person. Oh, spirit, is this going to be a, okay, one thing at a time. I'm like, is this going to be a rebound? No, I heard very strongly. No, you are the first person that this person is approaching since whatever this heartbreak is that they experience. Now, I want to tell you, they're over this heartbreak. They're over it. It does not linger in the energy at all, but I can see it as their past. They may have been married or in a relationship with someone who has two children, one to two, two children. I don't believe that these are their children, though. It could have been a seven year relationship that they're leaving. They feel like you are the first person worthy of like approaching since this all happened. I don't think that this person was in a mind frame of being able to trust people before this moment. Somebody who's taking this trip is not necessarily supposed to be on it at this time or something about this travel is off. Like maybe it is happening sooner than it was supposed to. Maybe it is happening um before it's something about this this other person's travel it's almost like they these people were not supposed to meet but something happened that forced them both in this place at the same time they were supposed to meet here i just heard they are not supposed to move forward in their lives without the other okay this is um, the number 33 is significant here or someone is 33 years old, but it could be gate 33. Something dealing with 33 is I literally see it like on a um, like a little sign. I see the number 33. That's it. But I feel like it would be like a gate number if I'm in an airport. That's what it looks like to me. Um, intelligent, both of these people are intelligent. You know, I'm going to tell you something that happens in this immediate energy exchange. Whoever represents as the feminine energy here, when you interact with this energy, with this other person for the first time, you are going to have a new first experience, meaning this is going to be the very first time either in over a decade, over two decades or your entire life where you actually feel like 
when you are talking to this person, when you are in this person's presence, that you can be in your full feminine energy without any detriment to your level of respect or honor, like something about the energy puts you in a position to be in your goddess energy. This person does not know that, but you're going to feel it immediately. And that's what's going to draw you to this person. The exchange of telephone numbers is going to happen effortlessly. And I'm going to tell you something. You two are not going to the same gate or to the same place. When you separate, one person is going to keep walking straight. The other person, I think, is standing in their gate or standing wherever they're supposed to be or bored or something, right? You separate, you go keep it moving after you meet this person, go to where you're going and they are standing where they're supposed to be. You're going to start texting immediately. This isn't going to be like, I'm going to wait three days. I'm going to wait an hour. I'm going to... By the time you make it to wherever you need to go to get on your form of tr your next mode of transportation, this person will have texted you already. Communication is going to start immediately. Heavy communication, heavy communication picks up in like three days. There are video chats almost immediately. This is a good, strong, long connection. I do see that there are going to be some hiccups here, but they're small. There are going to be some issues here with um, relocation. There's going to, you know what? It's not even an issue. It's just going to be a lot of talking, deciding and compromising when it comes to relocation, um, work environment, because something about the masculine here this masculine might be putting the feminine energy in a predicament where they can now decide if they want to work. But I don't think this masculine wants the feminine to work. And also this masculine may be retired. I don't think that they want they want to be in the energy of having to get up and be responsible to jobs, work, that kind of thing. They won't, they won't deny this person their career, but they will highly encourage them to live a life of leisure is what I just heard. I can get into this deeper. There are so many layers here. But this has gone long enough. I love you.